Picture a giant silhouette against a purple-orange sky. A massive aircraft, a true powerhouse of the skies. This isn't a sleek fighter jet designed for agility. This isn't a high-altitude reconnaissance plane meant for clandestine missions. This is something else entirely. This is the C-17 Globemaster III. The king of strategic airlift, the aircraft that made it possible for the USA and its allies to move troops, vehicles, humanitarian aid, and heavy equipment across continents at a moment's notice. The C-17 was born during the Cold War, a time when the USA needed a powerful, flexible aircraft, a true workhorse, to respond quickly and decisively across the globe. Design started in the 1980s in the shadow of growing Soviet capabilities and a rapidly changing world. The first C-17 flew in 1991, just a few years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, and entered service in 1995. For nearly 30 years, this massive aircraft has supported operations from Afghanistan to Kosovo, from Iraq to humanitarian missions after earthquakes and hurricanes. Today, nine air forces around the world, from the USA and the UK to Australia, Canada, India, and the Gulf states, operate this versatile giant. Designed to carry a staggering 170,000 pounds of cargo and troops directly into forward operating bases, often under challenging conditions, the C-17 quickly became the USA's most reliable heavy airlifter. It filled a unique role in a changing world, not just a cargo hauler, but a symbol of power projection. Where previously only large airports could handle heavy aircraft, the C-17 was designed to operate from much shorter runways, about 3,000 feet allowing it to bring aid, soldiers, and equipment directly into the theater of operations. But now, we find ourselves at a crossroads. The C-17 is a Cold War design, robust, reliable, yet growing older by the day. As the U.S. Air Force evolves toward a more dispersed, flexible way of projecting power, a future defined by forward bases, short or non-existing runways, and a growing need for agility. The C-17's legacy role is in question. So what comes next? Some say we should restart production, modernize and produce a C-17 2.0. Boeing itself reports ongoing inquiries from international customers. The Air Force might find this cheaper and faster than designing something from scratch much in the way the C-130J replaced its predecessor. But the future might demand something more radical. Some innovators like Aurora are developing a new kind of aircraft. The short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft Aurora X, designed for dispersed operations and forward bases. Picture a large transport with a blended wing body and lift fans capable of vertical takeoff and landing, delivering troops and equipment directly into hard-to-reach areas. This isn't a C-17. This is something entirely new. Meanwhile, companies like SpaceX propose an even more dramatic solution, using rockets to move large amounts of cargo across the globe in under an hour. The Starship concept, a massive reusable rocket, could carry a 100 to 150 ton payload halfway across the world, bypassing traditional airfields altogether. And then there's DARPA's Liberty Lifter, a hybrid ground effect vehicle designed to fly close to the water, delivering heavy equipment directly to coastal areas, designing, developing, and procuring a new aircraft is a massive investment, not just in dollars, 
but in years of effort and expertise. The Air Force is shrinking in size, reflecting a dramatic reduction in its number of aircraft and troops, compared to the Cold War era, when there were over 4,500 USAF fighter aircraft. Today, there are barely 2,200. This downsizing signals a future where large, specialized aircraft may become less numerous and more versatile. As we move toward 2040 and 2050, the role of large conventional airlifters might diminish, not disappear, but evolve. Some missions previously filled by the C-17 will be divided among a family of specialized platforms, from drones and VTOLs to space planes and blended wing lifters. Meanwhile, many C-17s will soldier on supported by service life extension programs until their airframes become too worn for service. This powerful aircraft, a symbol of a bygone era of heavy, decisive, forward deployment, will slowly fade from view. Not all at once, but in a gradual, deliberate retirement. The C-17 was a triumph, a perfect blend of power, flexibility, and reliability that defined a generation of U.S. and Allied air power. As the world evolves, the missions it performs will be divided, specialized, and dispersed, reflecting a dramatic shift in how wars will be fought and supported in the future. But for now, when the USA or its allies need heavy lift, for soldiers, vehicles, aid, or life-saving equipment, the C-17 Globemaster III stands ready, a majestic giant, a legacy made of metal, human ingenuity, and an enduring will to respond, wherever and whenever it is called upon.